Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing a video. I've had lots of requests on how I go about processing my items and listing them. It's not really going to be a day in the life. I'll just kind of explain to you how I, just how I do everything. I'm going to show you my spreadsheet that I use and then at later in the video I'm going to show you some examples of how I actually list stuff whether it's um, things that are going to be shipped flat rate or things that are going to be shipped calculated shipping. Um, first thing let me talk about is I'm older y'all. Um, I noticed probably a little over a year maybe two years ago that my wrist was starting to get really really sore from like the copy paste function because that's how I do a lot of my work is there's a lot of copy and paste. So Robert set up hot key, auto hotkeys for me so that now all it is is these keys at the top of my keyboard that I use to do cut and paste and copy and um, I used to do a lot of printing or saving to a PDF but I also have keywords that I always use like stuffed animal toy. If you look at my listings for stuffed animals, almost all of them, if I have space, ends with stuffed animal toy. That is just a button I have to click. Also, almost all of my descriptions for toys, for the most part, are going to have light playware from play slash handling or some playware. And those are just hotkeys for me. I just have to hit a button and they're there. So that helps speed up the process for me a lot. And let me show you. Well, when we get to me showing you the screens, it's just, it's an app. And Robert pulled the app up for me. Um, maybe at some point, if you want to start using stuff like that, um, there's probably YouTube videos out there. But basically what I've done is like F1 is my cut button. F2 is my copy. F3 is my paste. F5 is my light playware, F6 is my sum playware, and when I'm starting to list, sh showing you how I list, you'll see those, how I'm using them. Um, and oh, one of the other buttons, I think it's F12. Um, there's, if you list a lot of stuffed animals, they want to know what event this is for, and I put all occasions, and I don't like typing all occasions a million times, so I've got a a hotkey button for that. Um, and you can use the hotkeys however you want. If it's something that you're constantly typing over and over and over again, set up a hotkey for it. It just really makes life easier. So what I'm going to plan on doing is I'm going to show you my spreadsheet. Before Robert and I married, I used notebooks. I had paper notebooks and I wrote everything down for every single listing. My job before, my previous life, as I usually say, is I was in the military. I'm just used to documentation. So I was just keeping notebooks of everything that I list. I've never been the type that makes a listing all at one time. My time is chunked. I um, list every morning as soon as I wake up. Sometimes that's five o'clock in the morning. And then I come downstairs and we do our packaging and then the rest of the probably three or four or five hours is me just processing. And that's where I use my spreadsheet. I type everything into my spreadsheet. I take my pictures. I bag it. I weigh it. I put it in a tote to carry over to our building. And then I, at the end of the day, I store it. And that way I write down the bins that I'm putting all of my items in. And then at the end of the day, I go back upstairs. Um, I type in all of my bin locations onto my spreadsheet and I do my research. And then this, my days are long y'all. And then usually at the end of the day, like five or six o'clock, I do my end and sell similars. I've got an alarm on my watch and I just, that's probably about the last thing I do every day. Um, some days I throw in some um, cross listing, some days you know, I, I do just different chores as far as my eBay business. 
but it's pretty much a, a set schedule. But you know how our our lives are. You know, there's some days that I'm off doing sourcing. Again, I had some stomach issues this week. So there was one day I stayed in bed all day. I had a migraine and stomach issues. So, you know, that's just, that's life. That's the good thing about working for yourself is, you know, you can work when you want and you don't work when you want. Um, so I'll just show you everything that I'm doing. Um, it isn't going to work for everybody. There's some people who only want to list on their phone. I don't. My phone is for taking pictures. That's it. And then, you know, I'll send offers. I'll accept offers, but I don't ever list because for me, I use my own listings to list every day. I don't use other people's listings. I prefer not having to double check to make sure all the item specifics are filled in or not filled in. Um, you know, that's the easiest way to get a defect is, you know, using somebody else's listings and they've got the wrong size in or the wrong color or just whatever. So I only use my own listings to cross list. And I'm going to show you all of that stuff here in just a minute. I think that's it. So let me go ahead and show you some of the screens that I've got ready. And then I'm going to show you how I list. I'll probably, I don't know, do two or three of each just to show you because it's going to be slow at first. But for the most part, I can do probably 25 to 30 listings in the morning because all I'm doing is copy paste, copy paste and list um, probably about two hours, depending on distractions. Sometimes I get into YouTube and start answering comments or get on Facebook and, you know, look around for a bit, get on Discord. Um, but for the most part, probably two, two and a half hours in the morning before I start getting ready to come down here and work. I'm not going to do picture in picture. So, you know, from this point on, you're going to be seeing the screens. Um, but I made sure that you could see the cursors so you'll know what I'm talking about and pointing at. This is the Auto Hot Key app program that we use that I was explaining earlier to do the quick, I call them quick keys. So it makes the things a whole lot easier for me when I'm listing. This is my spreadsheet. Let me go back to the top. Robert set this up for me a long time ago. I've tweaked it over the years, but I'm down to this is the, the categories or the columns that I use. I've got my inventory number. It continues from last year. Last year was the first year we ever did the inventory number system. So I started out at the beginning of this year with 15489. And then I have my item title. Sometimes it's exactly what I type in, but when I do my research at the end of the day, often, oftentimes I will tweak the title. This is the condition. This is when my fast hotkeys go into um, effect. You'll almost always see most, especially when I'm dealing with toys, it's either some playware from play handling or light playware from play handling. If there's anything else I need to add, then I just type that at the end. This is the quantity. I only put something in there if I have a multi, multi, multi quantity of a single item. That doesn't happen very often. I'm pretty much, what do they call one offs? Um, you know, I find what I find and then I list them. The weight is based on what I think it's going to weigh when it's packed. A lot of times I know exactly which packaging I'm going to use and I it's just automatic for me at this point. I do weigh every single item I list um, and then I'll add an ounce or two if it's going to be with a poly bag. Um, you know, I know a priority, large priority box is 12 ounces, a shoe box is 7 ounces. A lot of my larger boxes I have a a sticky note that tells me exactly how much that box weighs and I use all that to compute um, the weight of the item. I write it in here as either four, when it's under a pound either 4, 8, 12 or like 15. Um, those are the different levels of shipping that eBay does. You know everything 0 to 4 is the same. 5 to 8 ounces is the same all the way through and then when you get into calculated of course it's based on where it's going. Um, so I, those are just my estimates. If it's over a pound, then I'll say like a one to two pounds and I know to list it as two, but I, d I don't just write two in there because that just looks odd to me. Just one of my little quirks. So anything over a pound, 
you know, I'll type in two to three or three to four, and I know to list it at four. Column F is my location. That's the bin that I've actually put this item in. Um, you know, I explained that in our video where I showed how we store 11,000 items. If you see this first one, 252A, that means it's on shelf 25, the second row, and the basket A. Then at the end of the day, when I'm done processing everything, I go upstairs. Like I said, I tweak the titles if I need to, and I pick my price point for what I'm going to list it at. And then every day as I'm listing stuff, I put in the item number that it lists um, at that moment. It's basically a, a, a marker for me to say that I have listed it because most of you know at the end of 30 days or whatever the month is, I do end and sell similar. So this number would not be accurate after the first month of me listing it. And so that's what I do. So I started out here at the beginning of the year at that number. And currently, let me, Robert showed me how to go all the way to the bottom. Yep, currently I'm at 17358. So I've listed almost 2,000 items since the beginning of the year. But let me go back up to where I am. As you guys can see, I'm way behind in listing. I'm getting stuff processed faster than I'm getting it listed. All right, so I've already listed this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on from where I was. Um, the How I do this is, this is my spreadsheet. Everything to the, the, the listing to the left um, is going to be anything under a pound. The, the listing to the right is everything that's over a pound. Basically, the listings are exactly the same how I process them, except, you know, I do flat rate shipping for under a pound, calculated shipping for over. So I just go back and forth, back and forth. So I'm going to start here. I've got my next one, and this is F2 is my copy key. So I'm just going to F2 this, and it's going to copy that, and then I'm going to go to this listing, and I'm going to do sell similar. It's always my listing though. Remove my photos. I've got some extras up here that have issues. All right, and then this is gonna be my first photo for this Tooth Fairy doll. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it down there. Normally I would type in stuffed animal toy. This ain't an animal. I just have a thing about not doing that. So I'll type stuffed toy. I'm going to go ahead and get my photo all lined up. Get this one in the right direction. I'm not sure why my camera keeps taking pictures in different directions. All right. Then this next line, the custom skew. Very, very important to me. So I always go back to my spreadsheet. This is going to be number 183 in 012B. So 183012B. Important to me because that tells me exactly what the bag number is and where it's located. All right, edit the category. I'm going to click on this category and I'm just going to paste in my title again. It's going to start giving me um, choices. First thing here on top is Tooth Fairy Pillows. I could pick that or I could pick Stuffed Animals. Um, I think I'll go ahead with the Tooth Fairy Pillows. So I'm going to click on that. And then for my store categories, I'm going to put it under Baby, since that's basically what that category was up there. And then my second category, I'm going to go ahead. Um, I don't think I have a Mud Pie one. No, so I'm just going to put it under general plush stuffed animals. All right, and it's already starting to give me a few cues as far as things to change. I'm going to change the brand to Mud Pie. Don't have a UPC. Color. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I'll just say multi. So multi pops that up. I'm going to leave all that stuff. Y'all, I don't fill in stuff that doesn't need to be filled in just to fill it in. So I think it was a princess, a fairy. I'll just say princesses and fairies. 
and I'm gonna leave the rest alone. Then I'm gonna scroll down here. Y'all, I list from the HTML code because I don't want extra stuff in there. At one point, eBay had told me many years ago to watch your HTML. I don't remember what the situation was, so I just automatic. It is just one of my quirks. I'm gonna paste that. I'm gonna go ahead and type in the stuffed toy. And then look at my listing, light playware. It's already, nope, that was something else. I'm gonna go ahead and use my F5 button, which is my light playware. I'm gonna change up here. This is one of the good reasons for listing on your desktop. You get this extra block here. This is shows up on the app right under your title, and it's just an easier way to make sure um, your buyers are seeing your description. I've always also put my title in my description when I'm cross-listing. It just helps me remember. Sometimes when I get into some of the other platforms, it doesn't always copy over my title correctly. And if it's already in my description, then I can just copy and paste and put it in the right one. All right, so that's done. Scroll down here. I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. I'm at $9.95 and the weight is four ounces. It's the same price as the previous one. I'm going to put in zero pounds, four ounces. The package dimensions I put in are pretty much like a place marker also. I'll fix them when I go to ship the item, but I don't want to leave this blank because it throws in that one by one by one. And, you know, I just want to make sure that it's, you know, measuring as a package. Then all of my under a pound items, toys and stuff, I just have USPS Ground Advantage as the primary service. And then as far as the shipping, anything that's zero to eight ounces, I charge a flat rate of $4.95. Nine to 12 is $5.95. And 13 up to a pound, I charge $6.95. So I've changed that to four ounces, $4.95. And I list. And this is me actually listing. So I'm going to get this number, go back to my spreadsheet and put it in there. So I know I've done this one. Let's do the next one. Hasbro, we're at number 184025B. I don't always remember, so I always go back and check. Let's do Madagascar. All right, I'm going to delete those photos I just used. And then let's put Madagascar in here. Pictures look fine. I'm going to hit my F7 for stuffed animal toy. 184. And I've already forgotten 025B. So I'm going to go in here and change this. And no longer Tooth Fairy. Change my category. Just paste again. It's going to tell me different categories. It's not an action figure. I'm just going to go ahead and pick other stuffed animals. It was Hasbro, so I'm going to go ahead and pick Hasbro Play School in my categories, and then I don't know if I have a Madagascar. I don't always remember. Uh, no, so I'm going to just put it in other other TV character toys. At some point I need to make one because I have stuff in there. Hasbro from 2004. No item number. I'm going to put Lion, Brown, Madagascar, Occasion. I have a button. F12 is all occasions. Small size and retired. And that's all I fill in. It already did the date for me. You got to remember though, the next time when you're doing another listing, make sure you check all of the um, categories that are left on there, the item specifics that are left on there, because you know, you, you'll need to change. All right. I've typed in my uh, title. This one was some playware. So I'm going to go over here and hit F6. There was nothing extra. F6. All right, I'm going to go check my price and my weight. 
995 change it to 8 it doesn't change the price and I just do this over and over and over again in the morning just copy paste all right copy that and paste it here all right y'all I've been listing tons of my smalls so it's gonna I have to scroll way down in order to find something that um, right here I highlighted it so I'm gonna pick a couple of things to list that are over a pound and how I do them it's very similar all right I've copied my title I'm gonna go to this completed listing create similar I'm going to have to go hunt for these pictures because they're going to be way down. All right, so here's the doll. I showed her recently in a haul. Found out that she's, I think, something dream. Yeah, Mattel Dreamland baby doll. All right, so that's that. This is an older listing. 17233082B. 17. Three, wait to be. I'm still gonna come. Seven two three three. Oopsie, I wrote that wrong. Oh eight two B. All right. So I need to change my category. It's gonna pull up dolls for me. I'm gonna change this to dolls. And then it's filled in all this stuff for me. Mattel, Baby Doll, 1994. I don't like that one right there. That item length, that's not going into the right spot. All right, Baby Doll, no UPC. It's 17 inches. I'm just going to type in that Dreamland. Includes the doll. The girl. Right, 19. Sorry. Oh, 1994. See, that was wrong. Can't trust it. All right, there. I'm not going to worry about the rest. And copy paste. Go see her description. I'm going to just do F2 to copy the whole thing. Come over here. Paste it. Oops, not please view. Just that part. And then over here, just this part. I always leave please view all pics. It's there. Do they? Do our buyers always look at the pictures in the description? No. All right, so there is my listing part done. All right, I'm going to list her at $24.95, two pounds. $24.95. Scroll, and then here, two pounds. Again, I use the large, the measurements for a large priority box as the place marker. I put 13, 13, 8. Um, anything that's going to be pre-packed and larger than that, then I put in actual. And then when I ship, I put it, I, I tend to change the dimensions when I'm shipping. But this allows for it to calculate it at the appropriate amount. All right. Always, y'all, I see lots and lots of posts where people are getting rid of their priority supplies and only using ground advantage because it's cheaper to ship most things that way. But as you can see here, well, eBay's messing up right now. It's not telling me. Normally, it's like 50 cents difference between priority and ground advantage. And most of my boxes that I have to purchase are more than 50 cents a box. I always put priority first and most of my buyers leave it at priority because right now I'm passing on my discount. So the shipping is very reasonable. If somebody bought some this item that lived near me, they're only going to pay $6.68 um, shipping on this item. I want to say this is going to be like $6.50. Um, and most people prefer to receive their item as quickly as they can. So I always have priority first, unless it's oversized. Um, 
And most things I ship out, I'm using free shipping supplies. So I leave it like that, scroll down, and list. I'm going to get my listing number, throw it in there so it reminds me. And then I'm going to do one more for you. I've got a plush. I'm going to copy the title. We are on number 34, 101B. Okay, move. I'm looking for the doll. There's the doll. All right, now I got to go down and find. All right, so I'm going to download these photos. Y'all, this also has a video. So there's, and see, I've noticed I've downloaded. I've taken pictures of the battery box. Oh, there it is. All right, click on that. I've mentioned this before. I don't leave this screen until this starts going past 4% because for some reason, if I leave the screen, it tends to not finish. So it's going now. So I'm going to go past here. All right, going to hit my quick keys. Title, stuffed animal toy, the brand is Wow We. Oh, let me go back now. 34101B. 34101B. All right, change. It might pull up interactive. Yep, interactive or stuffed animals. I'm going to go ahead and do the interactive. I don't have a category set up for that brand, so I'm just going to put it under stuffed animals. Wowie, I do not know that information, so I'm just typing in NA. Don't know any of that information, I'm leaving it. I'm going to paste, do my quick key stuffed animal toy. Copy my description. I always leave this great pre-owned condition. It's just another way for me to let the buyer know, the potential buyer know, that this item is not new. So pre-owned, some playware, tested and works. Copy it up there also. And then I'm gonna go see my price. I have it 1995, three pounds. 1995 three pounds and list. Get my code. Because I don't want to list it again. I hope this helped people. I know there's going to be lots of people who this isn't going to help, but if you're struggling, just remember that, you know, chunk your, your processes up. Like for me, it makes sense for me to stand down here, do my, my spreadsheet, take my pictures, bag my item. End of the day, I walk out to the building, I put them away, and then I go upstairs and I do my research. I finish plugging in keywords based on my research. Um, I plug in the inventory numbers. I figure out a price that I'm going to list it at. And then the next morning when I get up with my cup of coffee in hand, I just start listing and it's copy and paste back and forth, back and forth. Um, and there's not a whole lot of thinking because I've already done all the thinking. It's just getting it listed. And, you know, like I said, I can do 25, 30 of them in like two, two and a half hours, depending on distractions, because I can get distracted first thing in the morning, um, but I, I, I've been doing this forever, forever this way, so I hope it helps somebody. All right, y'all, this is my fourth video. You guys will probably notice four shirts, four videos with the same shirt on, but we're getting ready to go on vacation, so let's get them done, right? Y'all need to get to work. Bye.